Hello, and thank you for joining me. If you wish to learn about the stimulus packages, the stimulus checks, as well as what the politicians are up to with our money, please stick around because I'll be sh sure to inform you on that information during my broadcast. So on that note, let's begin my broadcast for you. Tweeted on, I think it was today. Yeah, it was tweet, tweet, tweeted this morning that he wants the Republicans to spend more money on the stimulus package as well as send out a second round of stimulus checks. And the details on their stimulus package, well, let's put this way it, from the House of Representatives, the bill is called the March to Common Ground Act. And this was a collaboration between both Democrats and Republicans. This March to Common Grounds Act includes a second stimulus check for $1,200, as well as $500 for all dependents. Dep this includes the dependents in college, as well as adult dependents. So basically all dependents. And the, the income limit would be the same as it was for the CARES Act, $7,500 for, for a, ma a single male adult, $150 for a married couple, which is basically the same as the CARES Act. And the, the bill also says that there would be an automatic third stimulus check in March of 2021 if the hospitalizations in COVID-19 got worse. And let's see here. And, sorry, the, the, basically the total cost of this would be 360, oh, that's, that's the second stimulus check program. So basically, nope, that's actually uh, correct. Yeah, the total cost of that would be $316 billion. Sorry, it took me so long to find that one. The federal unemployment would be extended. Recipients would receive $450 a week for eight weeks. And then after that, they'd receive up to, but not exceeding, $600 a week until January 2021. This program would cost $120 billion. There would be a second round of paycheck protection money that would be basically cost of $95 billion, which would be newly infused money into the program. The second round of pay, 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 sorry, the second round of paycheck protection money would actually be more flexible on how the people would be, be able to use it. There would be $500 billion for state and local assistance. Keep in mind, this is not a bailout. This is actually to state that it's going to cover the COVID-19 pandemic-related expenses is not to be used for anything that was pre-COVID-19. In other words, anything that happened before COVID-19, this money cannot be used to pay for it by state and local governments. There's $145 billion in there for schools. 69% of that money would go to elementary and high schools. 21% of that would go to colleges and other places of higher learning. And the last 10% would go to daycares and childcare providers. And there'd be $100 billion for testing for and vaccine development and healthcare for COVID-19. Um, there would be $15 billion for the post office. Uh, if you've been watching the videos, you've been seeing that um, as far as the post office goes, you've been you've hopefully been seeing for some reason postal trucks have been exploding. I saw that on the news today and it showed two different postal vehicles actually detonating while they're at a stop delivering the mail. No one was hurting these, these, these detonations, but still the detonations of postal trucks. There'd be $25 billion for farmers. And there, there actually is a lot of many more items in this bill, but these are the main concerns of the these the Democrats and Republicans at this present time is those bill, those ones I mentioned for the second paycheck, the second stimulus check, the third stimulus check, the schools, the farmers, 
and th those are basically the main concerns of what's going on right now is for as we come as more information comes available i will let my viewers and my subscribers know because it is very important that you know all the information i do believe that there is a uh hold up on this bill and this hold up is the fact that there is liability protection on it for employers and medical professional professionals and the democrats do not like that liability protection and i don't blame them i think it's pretty lame because if you're walking down the street and liability protection only covers businesses and medical buildings and you're walking down the street and you come across some guy who had COVID 19 and you get it from him then you can sue him why not give it to everybody? I mean, come on, they've already said that liability protections don't cost nothing, so give it to everybody. Do not allow, if, if you can't give it to everyone, then don't give it to nobody. In other words, give it to you, give it to me, give it to the businesses, the hospitals, everywhere. This way, everyone's covered. And they said it doesn't cost nothing. At least that's what I heard Republicans say many months ago when they first came up with this brilliant idea. And Nancy Pelosi said yesterday that she's very optimistic about the stimulus package. Let's find out how true that is. Because from what I understand, the stimulus package is on temporary hold right now because that whole liability protection, and I think there's maybe one or two other objects in there that they have not announced yet, that is causing problems. But like I said, this is, of course, before I go to that point, I also do got a, f a picture of the current uh, FEMA unemployment benefits and what states are paying out, when they're paying out it. Like I try to add to all my videos this way. My viewers are well informed because, as I said, you guys are very important to me. And I do thank you for tw tuning into my broadcast. If you found value in my broadcast, I would please request that you hit that subscribe button. You may or may not turn notifications on. That's your choice. And give me that big old thumbs up. Let me know that you like my podcast. And I will keep tuning them out for you. So you guys are well informed as you need to be. Until next time. This is and always will be. The People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. It is September 16th, 2020. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday and an excellent night.